Good morning, AM UMC. It is Thursday, September 17th, and it is our time, whether it's in the morning or afternoon or evening, wherever it is we find ourselves, it is our time to sit and spend some time with our Lord in prayer. So let's get started. Our opening verse is John chapter 4, verse 23. But the hour is coming, and now is, when the true worshipers will worship the Father in spirit and in truth. For such the Father seeks to worship him. Amen. And now let us take a moment of silence to confess our sins and recognize our need for God's grace and mercy. Most merciful God, we confess that we have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed by what we have done and by what we have left undone. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We are truly sorry and we humbly repent for the sake of your son, Jesus Christ. Have mercy on us. Forgive us that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways to the glory of your name. Amen. May Almighty God have mercy on us and forgive us our sins through Jesus Christ our Lord and strengthen us to live in the power of the Holy Spirit all of our days. Amen. Lord, open our lips and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, it is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Our reading from the book of Psalms today is Psalm 24. The theme here is everything belongs to God, the glorious eternal King. Let us worship him and welcome his glorious reign. Close your eyes and hear these words. The earth is the Lord's and everything in it, the world and all who live in it. For he founded it on the seas and established it on the waters. Who may ascend to the mountain of the Lord? Who may stand in his holy place? The one who has clean hands and a pure heart, who does not trust in an idol or swear by a false god. They will receive blessing from the Lord and vindication from God their Savior. Such is the generation of those who seek him, who seek your face, God of Jacob. Lift up your heads, you gates. Be lifted up, you ancient doors, and the King of glory may come in. Who is this King of glory? The Lord, strong and mighty, the Lord, mighty in battle. Lift up your heads, you gates. Lift them up, you ancient doors, that the King of glory may come in. Who is he, the King of glory? The Lord Almighty, he is the King of glory. Amen. Our gospel reading comes from the book of John, chapter 12. We'll be reading verse uh, 27 through 36. Hear now these words. Now my soul is troubled, and what shall I say? Father, save me from this hour? No, it was for this very reason I came to this hour. Father, glorify your name. Then a voice came from heaven. I have glorified it and will glorify it again. The crowd that, has, that was there and heard it said it had thundered. Others said an angel had spoken to him. Jesus said, this voice was for your benefit, not mine. Now is the time for judgment on this world. Now the prince of the world will be driven out. And when I am lifted up, from the earth, I will draw all people to myself. He said this to show the kind of death he was going to die. The crowd spoke up. We have heard from the law that the Messiah will remain forever. So how can you say the son of man must be lifted up? Who is the son of man? Then Jesus told them, you are going to have the light just a little while longer. Walk while you have the light before darkness overtakes you. Whoever walks in the dark does not know where they are going. Believe in the light while you have the light, 
so that you may become children of the light. When he had finished speaking, Jesus left and hid himself from them. This is the word of God for the people of God. Thanks be to God. Let us respond to today's readings by affirming our faith and reciting the Apostles' Creed. This is the traditional version of the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, dead, and buried. The third day he arose from the dead. He ascended into heaven and sitteth at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From hence he shall come to judge the quick and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. And now, let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. And as I pray this prayer of intercession, imagine yourself at the feet of Jesus or sitting beside him or walking, holding his hand. Show us your mercy, O Lord, and grant us your salvation. Clothe your ministers with righteousness. Let your people sing with joy. Give peace, O Lord, in all the world, for only in you can we live in safety. Lord, keep this nation under your care and guide us in the way of justice and truth. Let your way be known upon the earth, your saving health among all nations. Let not the needy, O Lord, be forgotten, nor the hope of the poor be taken away. Create in us clean hearts, O God, and sustain us with your Holy Spirit. And now, let us take a moment of silence to lift up our prayers. Lord God Almighty and Everlasting Father, you have brought us in safety to this new day. Preserve us with your mighty power that we may not fall into sin nor be overcome by adversity. And in all we do, direct us to the filling of your purpose through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And now, let us take on this new day with the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Amen.